Did you receive some of these at Bounty and Soul uh, this past week? Are you wondering what the heck they are and what to do with them? Well, no worries. Today we're going to use these in a great recipe that is considered a complete meal full of protein, fiber, and veggies. And I'm sure your family will love it. I'm Annette, a volunteer with Bounty and Soul, and I love food and cooking. In fact, I've been a vegan for almost 10 years and am a recent graduate from the Forks Over Knives Ultimate Cooking Course. The recipe I'm sharing with you today can be made ahead and is considered vegan comfort food, and it's very healthy. We're talking about Italian plant-powered stuffed peppers. In this recipe, we're going to be using the No Evil Italian Sausages, which are plant-based meat substitutes and uh, composed mostly of beans, legumes, and spices. They're high in protein and B vitamins. One thing to consider though, they do contain gluten. So if you're gluten sensitive, beware. Another thing to mention here is that No Evil Foods donates hundreds of pounds of uh, food every week to Bounty and Soul. And, and these sausages and other products that No Evil make have become a staple at our, at our market. So I suggest that you try all of the different flavors. To make this dish, you're gonna need uh, six peppers. And I, have, I like to use a variety of peppers and colors because um, just to make the dish more colorful. Um, one thing uh, you need to do is you need to cut off the tops of peppers and pull out all the pith and, and seeds. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna cut the top off straight down like that. I am going to pull all this, the pith and everything and all the seeds out of the inside, all that white stuff because we want to make sure we got plenty of room in there for our stuffing. Let me get another one here. Again, I'm going to pull all that pith and those, all those seeds and everything out of there. And the seeds that are left inside, uh, stuck to the sides, I'm going to go ahead and rinse in uh, at the sink. However, before I do that, let me show you, I don't throw these tops away. What I do is I cut around the, the stem and I cut all of that off and I put this, um, I chop it up and I save it for other things like to put on my salads or use in other recipes. So don't throw those away, use them, they're very, they're fine. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse these at the sink. So here are my clean, um, peppers. I'm only going to do two today. I have a dish in the oven that's baking that I prepared ahead of time. So you'll see the finished product. But now we're going to take off the plastic from the No Evil Foods. The chunk, and I'm just going to chunk this up into little, ch by hand, um, into little chunks and um, tear it apart. Um, if you have a food processor, if you don't want to use your fingers like I am, and you have a food processor, you can just put it into the food processor and just pulse it a little bit, and then it'll make it into small crumbles, But if that's something that you prefer. But today I'm just gonna do this real simple, tear it apart, and um, then this is gonna be part of our stuffing as well, that's gonna go into those peppers. And I'm gonna show you how I, exactly how I stuff them and how full I stuff them. So I'm almost done with this. This is uh, really spicy and really tasty, and but it's not overly spicy. So when it mixes with all the other ingredients, it's just the right balance of spices. Okay, so we have that done. In addition to that, you're gonna need, so that's like one, you know, eight ounces or so of the No Evil um, sausages. In addition to that, you're gonna need one cup of yellow and one cup of a zucchini squash. Now, if you don't have a yellow squash and you just have zucchini, you can use whatever you have, you know, but you're gonna need um, a couple of cups of that. 
You're also going to need some, a cup of, or eight ounces or so of mushrooms. And these are shiitake mushrooms that I had on hand. You're also going to need one cup of um, brown rice cooked. And if you don't have brown rice and you want to substitute, you can. You can put like brown lentils in it or quinoa or anything like that. Um, any kind of grain that you would like. But um, I'm going to use brown rice today. You're going to need garlic and you're also going to need a medium onion as well. Um, the spices are going to be um, some dried basil, some oregano, a pinch of the red, bell, red pepper flakes and some salt and pepper. And in addition to that, some tomato sauce, 14 ounces of tomato sauce. And that's gonna be our stuffing that we're gonna put into the peppers. First I'm gonna saute the uh, onion and the garlic. Um, and I'm not gonna add in, I'm gonna dry saute the onion for just a little bit before I add the water. So I'm going to saute this up just a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of it brown um, before I add the water. The important thing when you're dry sautéing is just to keep the food moving so that no one, one place sticks on the pan. We want the onion to get translucent and cooked thoroughly. Okay, so it's starting to brown just a little bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and add my water, which is a fourth of a cup of water to my pan. And then I'm going to add the garlic as well. And that's three or four cloves of garlic. We're going to go ahead and cook those together, and I'm going to go ahead, everything comes together pretty quickly, so I'm going to go ahead right now and add the No Evil sausages. Basically, you're just adding all the ingredients into one pan, and that's going to be our stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. And now I'm going to add the zucchini and the squash. The yellow squash. Put that in there. And I'm going to add the tomato sauce to it. See how quickly it comes together? We just want to, we don't want, have to worry about the zucchini cooking in the pan because the zucchini is going to cook in the oven when you bake it. It will be fine. And lastly, but not least, I'm going to add my brown rice, my cooked brown rice, along with all the seasonings. There's my brown rice. So you can see that this recipe has a lot of protein. It's very high in protein. And one pepper will be like a complete meal for one person. It has everything in it, you know, that you need. Protein and fiber and vegetables all in one dish. Very easy to come by. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my spices that's the basil or uh, oregano, um, the pepper flakes, and the salt and black pepper. And I just keep stirring and making sure it's well incorporated, everything is well incorporated. I'm 
I'm going to add, the recipe calls for um, some parsley, and I'm going to add half of the parsley that I've cooked here and save some to top the, the dish once it gets out of the oven. That's our stuff. Now we're ready to stuff the peppers. And we're going to use all of the stuffing and really pack those peppers full. So what I like to do is I just get a measuring cup. It's still kind of hot, but I really pack it into the peppers until they're actually overflowing. We don't want to waste any of that stuffing because it's really tasty. And I'm going to go ahead and there's a big boy right here. This green one is going to hold a lot. You can see how this is going to be enough for one person. Each pepper will be enough food for one person. I tend to just keep stuffing them and packing it down in there and overflowing as much as I can and the till the dish is completely full. Uh, and then you can grab a pepper and you can grab some extra stuffing and, and have a great meal. So, one more thing here. Keep, pep, keep going. Got a little bit more. Here we go. This is going to be covered, I'm going to cover this with foil and put it into the oven to bake. You need to bake it for about 40 minutes or so. Now, I'm going to cover mine with foil. Some people don't like uh, aluminum foil touching their food. If that's the case, if you have a baking dish that has a lid, you can just use a lid. Well, or you can put a piece of parchment paper or something like that over your food and then put the foil on and then put it into the oven. But I'm just going to cover it with aluminum foil and bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And um, we're going to see our uh, finished product. I've been baking one while um, we've been doing this video. So here's our finished dish. Let's get it out of the oven. Dish. I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and doesn't that look good? I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and I'm going to add a little bit of the parsley on top that I saved earlier. And let me get one into a plate. I like the red ones. You can see how uh, all those vegetables and everything have cooked, and uh, let me go ahead and taste it. Mmm. That no evil sausage, I said it was a perfect blend. It is really tasty, along with the mushrooms and the spices and everything. I really, really like it. For watching, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and will give it a try. Join me each week at Bounty and Soul. This is Annette signing off for now. Remember to invest in your health by eating whole, unprocessed foods.